Cody here. This week's video is about a 2 inch Schedule 80 pipe welding test. 6010 root, 332 6010 that is, and 7018 fill and cap. Welding today is done by Andrew Carden. Uh, the pipe coupons. But you need to feather those ends of those tacks so that you can tie in good to them, both coming off of them and tying into them. Once you get it tacked up, do a little inspection with the light. Wasn't able to really get very good shots here, but you want to make sure you, that you penetrated and grind out the areas that you did to look at it. All right, watch Andrew now as he pushes that keyhole right into where he feathered that tack. So, going to push it up, still keyholing. Right there, the keyhole closed, and he's going to keep on filling a little bit to avoid it. Same thing on this side, coming up to the tack, make sure to keep that keyhole going and push the keyhole well into the tack. You finally close it up, then keep on filling for a few more strokes. You might notice that arc strike there inside the bevel. If you're going to have an arc strike, it's best to have them in there. You want to keep them all inside there and not outside on the pipe. You can take a since this is 6010, not going to hurt anything. If you want to keep it jammed in there pretty tight, you're almost trying to, in your mind's eye, weld this root pass from the inside out. For this demonstration, we welded both bottom halves first. Uh, usually it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's, there are requirements, though. So again, read that WPS or ask whoever's administering the welding test. Do a little quick inspection. Make sure you got the... Uh, tip for when that keyhole just gets out of hand. This comes from a, but I think it's applicable here. Sometimes that keyhole just, you're too hot. You've, you've estimated your amperage wrong and the keyhole just gets too big. It's good to stop instead of just keep fighting it. Sometimes it's good to stop and then restart just ahead of it. Get everything going good again. And then what happens there is now you have more mass, more heat sink, and then you come back with a grinder or a file if it's pipe, half round file, and you feather it just like this. And then long arc it a little bit, going in there, heat, heat it up, get a keyhole in again, push that keyhole up, and get everything tied in there. It's much easier to fix fix a, a little too large a keyhole like this than it is to just keep fighting a keyhole sometimes. That's been my experience. Sometimes a grinder is allowed, sometimes it's not. Sometimes they just give you a half round file and that's it. If you're going to use a grinder, you definitely want to be really careful and avoid getting grinding scratches like this outside the bevel. We didn't really have the right grinding wheel here for this video. We're trying to get by with a flap disc and use the grinding, the rigid part of it, just to kind of clean up that root pass. But uh, I noticed this when editing body positioning. It's not such a huge deal on the 6010 root because you're only welding a quarter of it at a time, so you don't really have to re -position. Aiming for the center line of the pipe, I have found, kind of helps you keep your electrode angle right. In your mind, we're getting ready to light up with the 7018 rod here. And this is this is where I failed my first test. This is actually the first test that I ever took, real test. And amps here, uh, just just a little bit of cushion. So I got a fairly heavy, heavy root pass in there, too, and that makes a difference. So we're not really at risk here for, for blowing through that. But bent undercut. Let's look at that in fast motion. All right, that's the finished uh, single bead version and didn't have time to film the arcs on the dual bead, but sometimes it takes more than one bead 
and uh, pay attention to how the root's going in while you're tack welding the thing and make some fine adjustments there before you start on the actual test. All right, here's the little diagram showing a little series of cursive E's that, that Andrew did on this. Backing up a little bit at the top side, backing into the puddle can really help you avoid undercut. 